It looks like any South Beach nightclub. Thumping beats. If you are not here, you are missing out. Crazy DJs, flowing drinks. Only at this party, instead of asking for numbers, they're calling them out. Oh, we have another bingo. Bingo, I have another. It's bingo. And every Friday night, the pastime of retirees is attracting 200 or more 20 and 30 somethings. It's the only time you're going to go out when you have a shot of going home with more than you came with. I the staple of church basements and smoky halls is suddenly becoming trendy. I've seen a lot of new customers come in that's never played bingo before. Why do you think? It's something different. I mean, it's affordable. I dream of numbers. God forbid I should dream of a man. Count math teacher Carol Cassiola among the newly devoted. Yesterday I won 100 and I only spent 16. Really? That's yeah, a I good gave profit. A, yeah, and I gave them a $5 tip. I used to give 10, but now the economy, the economy, I had to cut back to five. Carol's mother used to play decades ago when beehives were all the rage. Back then, Florida's Seminole Indian tribe built a single bingo hall and turned it into today's multi-billion dollar Indian gaming empire. Bingo is pretty important for the tribe. I would say it was probably the beginning of our journey to go from dependent to independent. While gambling revenue as a whole is down in this recession, bingo seems to be holding its own, even expanding online and in some more unlikely places. Welcome to Drag Queen Bingo. We can't tell you the real name on this program or repeat most of the jokes. I have an I just for you, girl. It's I, two zero. I the show has become one of the club's most popular. We used to think they would come to see us and then the bingo was added extra. No, I think now they come for the bingo and just see our show as the added extra. <laughs> an old game. I 69. Learning some new tricks. Kelly Cobia, CBS News, Fort Lauderdale.